swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Holy smokes. That's the first ball they've taken the entire game so far. They're swinging at everything. His prior history versus this arm. He's one for two. Strike swinging. Ball, Timing strikes. a little yeah. off on that one. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. I've been swinging and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now. And there's one gone. Looking to flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. The battle, number 22. Into the box, Ramon Laureano. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Hey. And that finds the target, nothing in two now. Yep. Okay. Hey, make no mistake about it, this lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding himself. And he struck him out. His seventh for the ball game. And that That the play will be Corey Seager as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. Well, every pitcher gets to start the inning with a fresh slate, and he's out trying to put that last inning behind him. But he's got to be shaking his head right here. A leadoff double on the first pitch, and he's back in trouble again. Things just not going his way right now. Loriano patrolling center makes the play one out. So here's Cody Bellinger. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. From the belt, kicks and deals. Aye. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back at the track. The wall. First, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers do strike for two, coming on this two-run home run. We're through three here in Southern California, and the lead is now 5-0. So now it's Mark Canna, struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, yeah. Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way 
to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. Strike and now it's 0 and 2. Kenna stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box. He was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't I've miss with this pick either. You go in the high way rounds way and you carve out a career the way this guy has. has a nice pick. So he racks up the swinging oh, strikeout man. on the breaking oh, ball. Man. Mark Kenna man. is retired to kick oh, off man. the inning. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. That's inside. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. In there. 1 and 2 now. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he a swing and a miss, that retired the side, and that will do it. Hayes are gone. At the plate now is Edwin Rios. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Hits sharply on the ground to second. Field it cleanly, and a good throw gets him one gone. One gone now in the Dodger fourth. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Yeah, you can take a look at his numbers here. With that one out single, he's sorting with a little trouble here again. You'd like to see him find a way to get out of this inning and battle for another inning or so, but you also don't want him to give up the big number. At the plate now, Walker Bueller. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Piscotti is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Top of the lineup, stepping in, Mookie Betts. He's one for two in the ball game. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. He grounds it sharply to third. Even so won't get him. And after the He's going to go to the movies and watch the movie about himself, the Rocky Horror Pitching Show, because this has been a nightmare. Here's Corey Seager. Tried to check it, oh, and it's 0-1. No two hits and two trips for him thus far. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. No trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Dodgers brand a couple, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the ace hitters to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. 
As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And he falls behind 0-2. Murphy playing here in his age 26 season. He was selected in the third round back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Hey, this pitcher's been absolutely in the zone up until this point. That was a retired streak just broken up. He had retired 12 batters in a row. That's four clean innings. Let's see if the offense gets going. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. That's a balk. And now a stoppage here you? as it looks right like a balk has been called. And indeed, they're going to say he never came fully set before starting for the play. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. And he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And hang on. It looks Cut. like a balk will be called here. And that's going to move the runner up 90 feet to third with still nobody out. Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch to short. Reined in. Throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Up next, Elvis Andrews. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. You. And Second now hold base. everything here as it looks like a balk has been called. And that one might have been a little ticky-tack if you ask me. Here's another 0-2. To third. Turner has it. Throw and he's called out on a close play at first. Next to dig in, Tony Kemp, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact. I've been running on my mic this way before my mic Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Tony Kemp goes down for out number two in the top half. Austin Allen will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Strike one to start the at-bat. That's the ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Hey, there's not a lot you can do I'm with out. a slider breaking down ball. and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. That's ball through. Good break on the knuckle curve. But he ball. missed with it. One two strike. and one. And it's fouled away. Ready with the two and two. This one Three misses, two. and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Ramon Lurie. Uh, we'll leave it right like there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bat. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch, and that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen. And they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. Thank you, Heidi. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Cody Bellinger stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. Bellinger connects as this is deep to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. His second home run of the game as it's now a six-run ball game. Especially when you make a mistake as bad as this 